our challenge was to um, help uh, improve the knowledge of maternal and child health of approximately 200,000 frontline health workers in the state of Bihar and to equip them with job aids that would enable them to counsel families more effectively on maternal and child health in the state of Bihar. Mm -hmm. And the way that that's been previously done in the past is through um, paper-based materials such as flip charts, um, which are bulky to carry and um, tend to be damaged in the monsoon. You know, they're not very water resistant and healthcare workers are quite reluctant to carry them. Um, and it's also been done through face-to-face uh, -face training, um, uh, which is expensive to deliver when you're talking about 200,000 people across a, a very large state. So when you know, we were confronted with this challenge, 200,000 healthcare workers, how do we train them and how do we equip them with robust, you know, reliable, high quality job aids, um, we looked at the technology that they already had. And according to a very significant survey that we did, about 85% um, of frontline health workers own their own phone in the state of Bihar. And 100% have access to a phone within their immediate family, so their husband's phone. So we thought, okay, this is the one piece of technology that they already have is a phone. Indeed, so um, we looked at what is the, what's the format that p they will be able to engage with and it's audio. Um, so text-based services because they can't use SMS and obviously they don't have mobile internet on these very old phones were not viable. So audio was the only way to deliver content to them. Um, so we use a technology called IVR, Interactive Voice Response, which is actually a really old technology. I think it dates back to the 80s. And it's not even a mobile phone technology. Um, and so we use that to develop, first of all, Mobile Academy, which is a training course for frontline health workers in Bihar. And it, uh, it's designed to increase their knowledge of um, critical life-saving health behavior, maternal and child health behavior, and as a refresher for the training that they've already had in the past. Um, and crucially, it's also designed to help them improve their persuasive skills. Mobile Academy is um, 100 rupees uh, approximately for the entire course. So it's billed at 50 paisa per minute. And so the overall cost varies according to how many times they repeat lessons and chapters and quizzes because they can do them over and over again until they're happy with their score. Um, but if they do the whole course once, it costs them in the region of 100 rupees. Um, and they can do the course as quickly or slowly as they like. So they can do it, um, take the course over an entire year if they want, over 12 months. So they can spread the cost over 12 months, which makes it very reasonable mm -hmm. for them. And uh, Mobile Academy is available across uh, five major mobile operators in Bihar um, on a short code that is common across all of those mobile operators and at a tariff, 50 paisa per minute, which is common across all those mobile operators. With the ASHA system, ASHAs receive incentive payments based on their performance. So they receive incentives based on the number of women they persuade to um, have a child in, in an institution or to have various vaccinations. Um, so they, they receive a range of different incentive payments. Now if they are more effective at persuading women to adopt these behaviors, then they will earn more money. Um, but I don't think money is the key motivation, actually. Uh, that's, it's funny that you should bring that up, because when we were first developing Mobile Academy and we said that the healthcare worker would pay for it in order to ensure sort of long-term sustainability, people said to us, they were like, they'll never pay, you know, why should they pay, what's the motivation? But in fact, we've had about 27,000 unique users have called 27,000 
have called uh, Mobile Academy, and um, about 27% have already completed the course.